today we'll be going to Burton where we'll be joining up with the London Supporters Club. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and click subscribe. Off we go. From London Supports Club. We're at Burton Bridge Inn, um, a pub in Burton before the game. I think we've got 40 to 50 members from London. Some of us left at 7, 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning to get here. And, um, you know, this is a regular thing that happens. And, um, you know, we're, we're a whole group of, some of us have been supporting the club for 40 years, right down to children, grandchildren, and we've got an 11 year old that comes regularly that also joins us. So, um, London Supports Club, great. We go away from the ground, 20 minutes, 30 minutes from the ground. Good beer guide, pubs, food, and family friendly. And we always have a good day out. So I live in Dubai, I have done for 22 years. All my family are in Dubai, my son, for his sins, he sports Coventry as well. Oh yeah, there's, uh, whenever you, you, you walk around and there's lots of um, Coventry supporters, we all, we all ran away. We didn't want to be over here because it was so bad. And so, anyone with lots of money, maybe to shift seats around? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> what do you think about the season so far? Um, I'm, it's about where I thought it would be actually. My, my forecast on the competition was we'd be about 27 points and we got 28. So I'm not that far off. A legend of the England Supporters Club, Barry, aka Badger. <laughs> not Badger. My role. I do the, tic <laughs> I do the ticketing for the London supporters and uh, on average I get 30. 25, 30 tickets per away match. Do you not ever have any trouble getting tickets for that whole well, year? We have had. How, have, do you, how do you do it differently then? Because obviously, if, you, if you're going on your season ticket holder and you get priority for away games, you're going to get two, three, four tickets. A game lot today, I sold that within an hour. How do you get around that? Well, I've got 25 season ticket holders. What do you like about the London supporters? Club? Why do you bother coming? Great guys. Great guys, really? Yeah, we've got. Done... around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got, we've got a nice spread of 11 year olds and I'm the oldest, 78. 78. And all these guys in between are varying ages. Also they do different jobs, they come from different walks of life. Football. all support one thing, we all support the badge and we all get together quite well and they're a great, great bunch of guys and we all look after one another. So going forward, if, if someone watching now wanted to be to have us a good day out, want to join this club, how would they go about becoming a member? Of the ah yes, well they have to go online, it's all done online and we just point them in the direction of cclsc.org.uk Go online, cclsc.org.uk yeah. Oh, survey down. No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> Is it like a vetting process? Like, if you have um, some, some cockney chav who wants to sort of sign off and then he comes up to one of these dudes smoking a marijuana split. Yeah, you, there is a vetting. Can you kick him out? <laughs> well, you, you've seen Colin. Oh, I have seen Colin, yeah. Good Colin. We have a committee, I'm on the committee. Uh, if there's anything with the board, did you think Taylor would have a chance of getting into this? No chance, yeah. <laughs> we hear you're a very special fan because you actually travel from. Uh, well, actually, I uh, originally come from uh, west coast of Norway, but I have been living in Sweden for uh, 14 years or something like this. So in the 70s, when I grew up, for some reason, I ended up as a community supporter. Uh, my uh, eldest brother, uh, who is as a builder supporter, and it has been building from there. So, so famous Norwegians, I can think of, I can think of three. Uh, Rune Norman. He's uh, not famous. No, well, famous for Coventry. There's not many of them. <laughs> then there was Trots, Socks on that. Socks on that. And then there was Peter and Lund. Oh no, Peter and Lund. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're keeping your eyes out there as the scout for Coventry. So what's that? No. 3 1. 2 1 to Oh no! Uh, 4 2. <laughs> so, Coventry today will win 2 0. So, I reckon it'll be 2 1 City today. I'm going 3 1 City with Chaplin first goal scorer. I fancy uh, 2 0 today, Clark Harris Brace. That's it. 3 0 win. 1 0 City. 2 1, 2 goals for Chaplin. Uh, 2 2, Johnson Clark Harris and Chaplin.
So our unbeaten run in the league comes to an end and yeah, that was quite frustrating. I don't think it was one of those games though that we can reflect and look back on and go, well that's one we should have won. Burton were by far the better team today, especially in the second half. They won all the 50-50 battles and made it very, very difficult for us. Our passing was sloppy and we didn't create many chances, so the better team won, and that happened, I guess. I was listening to CWR on the way home and we were listening to some of the callers calling in, and it just seems that every time we lose, we lose our mind. And yes, we've lost three in a week, and I can see how that, to some, Cov supporters looks really bad but they've been three very different teams that Robbins has put out and actually I think we just have to accept that we're going to lose games in the league should I be more disappointed maybe but I genuinely don't think there's loads to worry about we're going to have bumps in the roads this year and we came up against a very very strong Burton team who on the day played better than us it wasn't to say there wasn't some good performances, I thought Luke Thomas had a good game, um, he looked dangerous in attacking, I thought Bayliss had a really good first half, um, Doyle looked strong today as well, and Hyam at the back. So there were some good performances to come out of it, but it just didn't really click today, we didn't look creative going forward, Chaplin and JCH didn't work up front today, but it's the first time we've lost in a long time in the league, so fingers crossed we can put it right on Friday against Peterborough, which is a game I'm very much looking forward to. Thank you to the London Supporters Club who invited us along today, we really enjoyed it. Anyone can join and I thoroughly recommend it, they make a proper day of it, you'll find their details below in the description. I think I'm going to leave that one there today, nothing more to add. See you on Friday!